it's one of the things I really enjoy about going out in any area is looking for old ruins. And as I was driving down this uh, Forest Service road, I saw these old ruins. Now, uh, this fence line, uh, according to the map and according to a no trespassing sign, is private property. So I'm not going to cross this fence line. But I am going to film these ruins. So this is some sort of old log structure right here. I had to guess. I'd say a barn. One, the windows are low and small. It looks like it was probably a fairly low roof, and that looks like a corral in front of it. Now, if we look, past that telephone pole, power pole, there's something collapsed over there. Right there. And then in front of what this I'm going to call a barn is another collapsed structure or where a lean-to type structure. But then obviously the funnest one, the most intact one is the uh, house in the background. Or what looks like a house. I have to say, and on the age, foundation that was big enough for a crawl space or cellar underneath because there's a door in the foundation it had a big windows in it with glass center chimney door in the front window. so it must have had some sort of porch or steps on that front side that had logs in so It's not log cabin. Stick framed, it looked like it had some sort of asphalt shingles on it. Well, too bad I can't go look at it. Sure wish I could. I've had a great time driving and hiking today and enjoying seeing some of this beautiful Black Hills, South Dakota scenery. Uh, it's, it's just spectacular on the southwest side of the Black Hills because it's not built up, it's not um, touristy, it's really remote and it's really rugged and it's just beautiful. Thanks for coming along with me today. If you like this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.